Hey guys, it's Gary, and we are back at Get Going Fast, where we're getting you into this hobby, AI, in a quick and efficient manner in which you might learn something, yo. And today, we're going to talk about the one thing to avoid that is going to make your hobby so much more fulfilling. And what is that one thing? That one thing is avoiding Pinocchio. Um, real tempting to people getting in here to be like, hey, just one click it. I'm going to get this thing installed and uh, we're going to use it. And I'm going to tell you every time uh, someone uses this, they end up back over at get going fast saying, I can't get anything else to work. And that's because Pinocchio will destroy your system. Number one trap that you're going to fall into in your AI hobby. And I'm going to explain a little bit about why that is there. So before we do that, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I certainly appreciate um, you guys doing that. It really helps go and telling other people about the site and saying, hey, AI is awesome. Why don't you guys come in and do it with me? All right. So I'm not the only nerd sitting here doing this kind of stuff. A group of nerds is a very powerful thing. So uh, I'm glad to have you on my team. Yo. All right. Well, let's pop into this. I'm going to show you how to avoid this trap and get you going down the road. Yo. Okay, so as I mentioned, it's very tempting when we get into this hobby uh, to go ahead and want to just get it going because I, I know how it goes, guys. Like, you're sitting there and a lot of times you're busting for hours trying to get something installed. I don't really know a whole lot. I just kind of want to do some face swapping, get, uh, you know, do some pictures of pretty girls and, and this kind of stuff. And, and I don't really know a lot about computers, so... The temptation is I'm just going to pop on over here. I'm going to uh, do this up. I'm going to grab Fart Fusion, which, by the way, is garbage. You guys should use rope if you're going to do your face swapping stuff. But I want to get Wand 2.1. Um, Hun, you want? All, I, want I just want to get it going. Cause I, I just And then, guaranteed, what happens? You install it, and the next thing you know, you end up over here at Get Going Fast. You go, oh, wow, Get Going Fast got a lot of cool stuff, and nothing's working. Okay, and then you end up sending me messages going, Gary, I don't understand what's going on with my system. And I guarantee, just happened just today, uh, Zone is pointing out, oh, by the way, I should mention that I installed Pinocchio. And I go, oh, there you go. So uh, then the cleanup becomes very difficult. Now, why is that? Okay, the reason that that is, is because when you install Pinocchio, it doesn't take into account your system and it doesn't take into account what you have, what you've done. It just, it's like um, a sledgehammer. It just says, I'm going to get this done. Imagine if in your house you needed to put in another sink. Okay. And instead of going out and saying, okay, where are my water mains that I already have? Where are my water lines? You just say, you know what? I'm just going to put in another water line. Okay. And you go, okay, well, cool. So we put another water line. I've got a water line here, water line here. Now I go, oh, I need to put um, uh, a new toilet in to the bathroom. Well, you know what? Forget it. Let's not look for another water, uh, uh, the other water lines we have. Let's just go ahead and put another water line. And then pretty soon I've got major water lines coming through here. Nothing is connected to each other. Uh, something goes wrong here. Um, and I can't figure out which water line it is because I have so many different things going on. Or the analogy could be I'm working on my car and I go, oh, you know what? I need to uh, work on the alternator. But instead of working on the alternator I have, I'm just going to go get another alternator and I'm going to put it in there. I need to work on the oil filter, but instead of checking the or the gas filter, instead of doing it, I'm just going to put another gas. I'm going to run a bypass and you start getting redundant stuff and it starts to conflict with each other. You don't know what's running to what. You don't know anywhere. It, the one thing you want to run works for the moment, but it breaks everything else. And that is the number one problem with Pinocchio is it breaks your system because it does not care about getting your system set up right. Now, that's anathema to me over here at Get Going Fast because what we do is we spend a lot of time making sure that our systems are set up properly so that all of this stuff can work, okay? We have checkers. We have set up things so that we set it up right one time and then I don't have to go use Pinocchio because... Everything's going to work, okay? Now, I want to show you 
what exactly Pinocchio does to your system and why you should avoid it. Okay, so look, this is a picture of someone's uh, computer that I helped them work at. They couldn't figure out what was going on. So when you go to your Windows um, system and you click the Windows key, you can type in add or remove programs. And it shows a list of everything that's installed and you can see everything on there. So that's what this is, okay? Now, we look over here. Let's look at all the stuff they have installed. They've got the NVIDIA CUDA runtime 11.8. There's the 12.4. There's a 12.8, a 12.9. So they've got one, two, three, four versions of the CUDA toolkit installed. Let's see what else they got. They got, look at all the Insight uh, systems. This is just one example. You might have multiple Pythons or multiple mini Condas or whatever, uh, different visual studios. But the point is you've got multiple copies of one thing on your system. Here's another example over here. Look at, so you see someone installed a Pinocchio, and then look at what Pinocchio did. It's installed a Python 3.10 and a 3.12 and a 3.13, okay? You've got all these things which theoretically you can have on your system, but they're go if you know how to have them multiple on your system, but it's going to screw you up. I guarantee Python 3.13 only works with a handful of applications. There's a lot of applications that you're going to have problems with, of uh, face swapping stuff, generation stuff, and the problem comes down to you've got the wrong Python. And you go, well, but I got Python 3.10 installed. Right, but you also have Python 3.12 installed, and you have Python 3.13 installed, and your system is getting confused on which one to use. So remember, what Pinocchio does is it doesn't look at what you have and say, um, let's just make the best way to in, to get this working. It comes in with a sledgehammer. It says, this wall needs to not be here. And so it breaks this wall or puts this thing in there, and it doesn't think about what needs that wall there. Or more, more likely, the idea is it puts a wall there. So you got your backyard, and, and all of a sudden, like in the middle of the yard, there's just like a giant concrete wall. And you're like, why is there a giant concrete wall in the middle of my yard? And it's like, well, because I needed it so that I could have something to bounce a ball against. Well, well, you should have taken the rest of the yard. And now I can't mow the lawn or now we can't play badminton because there's a concrete wall in the middle of my lawn. He goes, well, I just did what I had to do to get it done. Okay, that's what Pinocchio does. Let's pop back over here. Um, you're going to see this. This is a picture here of your environmental variables. This is where Pinocchio screws you up. So again, this is someone's system. Let me quick let me quickly explain what environmental variables are. Your system, what it does is it um, it has to know where things are. So if I say, I, I type in the word Python, da, 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 and the computer has to know what Python is. So it goes to a dictionary it has, and it goes, is the word Python in here? Uh, oh, it is. Okay. And then over here it says, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do when Python's typed. Oh, okay. Python's typed. I'm going to do this. Okay. So you set up these lists. These are called environmental variables. Now we go over here and this is the dictionary. Now look at everything we've got here. We've got Python 3.12, uh, Python 3.13. Down here we've got Python 3.10. Okay. We've got all these CUDA toolkits. There's 12.8, 12.9, 12.4, 11.8. 12 so whenever these systems are trying to call things, it's got multiple things that might be calling. And here's how the environmental variables work in your system. They take the one at the top and they do that first. So this Python 313 down here isn't ever going to get called. If you type Python, it's going to hit everything in here. And so you go, well, I've got Python 310, but it keeps saying I have Python 3.13 or 3.12. Why is that? It's because it's way the heck down there. And why is it like that? It's because Pinocchio just said install it. Okay, same thing. Notice your CUDA down here. When you're running these softwares, uh, it looks for uh, CUDA. And all of a sudden, you've got conflicting things. Maybe it's wanting 12.4. Maybe your torch installed with uh, with 11.8, but now it's using 12.9 uh, 12 or something like that. Okay, now... Just because, and, and here's to make it just a little bit more confusing, just because it's in this order, yes, that's the way that the system goes through it, but in your code, your apps that you're running, sometimes it can ask for a specific version.
And that's what I'm saying is so, so even here, you could look at this and be like, well, it's, um, it's, it's should be the 3.12 at the top, which would actually be disaster. If it is, you really don't want 3.12, but, um, maybe the app is actually calling for Python 3.10. Okay. And then you've got a dependency which uh, needs 3.12 now or, or whatever, or, or you got something that's been installed with 12.8 on your CUDA and, and, but now in your app, it's calling for 12.4 and it's going to say um, your torch is compiled with the wrong CUDA and you go, I don't understand why. And it's because you, you, you installed Pinocchio. The bottom, the bottom line, the answer is the reason it's not working is because you installed Pinocchio and you polluted your system. Okay. Here's another example I'm going to show you. Uh, this is another great one. You see this kind of crap all the time. Uh, look at this. C Pinocchio uninstall. You can't even get rid of Miniconda now. Windows cannot find C Pinocchio bin Miniconda. Make sure you type the name correctly. So even here, it installed a Miniconda uh, as like a portable sort of thing that you don't want. It, it totally ralphed up your system. And now look at this. You've got you've got a mini conda involved in your C program data folder. You got one over here uh, under the users. You got all this kind of stuff going on that uh, because because Pinocchio just went in and created. Now if you try to use conda, well, which one's it supposed to use? It's supposed to use the one at program data. Is it supposed to use the one under users? And I can tell you, I have spent a large amount of time having to undo this stuff. And it's not just as simple as uninstalling Pinocchio, which is the other lie a lot of people think like, well, if I just uninstall Pinocchio, I'm fine. No, the damage has been done. It's like on Battlestar Galactica, you network up, right? There's a scene like they, they have to put the network on, right? But the Cylons are going to infect and then they got to get the job done. And, and then they try to unplug the network before the Cylons can completely take over the system. But here's the deal. Once they were in there, they've already caused damage. Okay. And then later on in that show, they have to completely undo everything. And that same thing happens with Pinocchio. You uninstall it, but the damage has been done. Okay. It was a fast food attempt to get your stuff working, but it caused you problems down the road. Yep, you got the app running. Yep, it was fast, but nope, it uh, messed you up in the future because now nothing else will work. And you just keep making yourself get more and more tangled up until you go, oh, I can't undo all of these things. I'm trying, the more I'm trying, the more I'm getting messed up. And it's because you have an inherent pollution system that you've uh, introduced to your system. The pollution system is called Pinocchio. Okay, so my advice to you, the number one thing that you can do to avoid problems is do not install Pinocchio. Simple as that, okay? Focus your time on getting your system set up. As I pointed out before, you can go to getgoingfast.pro Set up your OEA workstation in minutes. I have a script that gives you everything you need. You don't need multiple Pythons, okay? You don't need multiple CUDAs. You don't need all that stuff. It will mess it up, okay? Come over here and you can be uh, part of this. And then if you want to run WAN, WAN 2.2, you can, once you set up, go to wan.getgoingfast.pro. And guess what? You got a model manager here. It's going to be all set up for you, okay? It's, it's just going to work. Then you get into the actual one-click stuff, okay? See, there is, here's the dirty little secret. There is no actual one-click method to getting into AI. You have to set up your system correctly. But once you get that, then we can get into one-click stuff. Then we can get into just click this and it'll work, okay? That's the get going fast methodology. Number one way to get into this AI hobby in a quick and efficient manner, right? We spend a little bit of time sharpening our blade before we do the cutting because then the cutting is going to be that 
much easier. All right. Well, hopefully that was uh, helpful for you guys and that you learned something there. Um, again, you can get memberships by going over to getgoingfast.pro. Join as a farmhand. That's the easiest way to get in to the game. You get all the installers. I will help you to get your system set up properly. If you need more one-on-one -on -one, um, help, there are rancher and gunslinger classes where you will actually, I will come in, we'll spend a time, we'll make an appointment and I'll actually spend some time with you getting, not only getting your system set up, but actually teaching you along the way of how to do it yourself. Okay. So with that, we are going to sign off. I'm going to give you a big salute and, uh, you know, enjoy the rest of your day. Be good to yourself and, you know, be good to others. We'll catch you on the other side. Yo.